A similar plan to include a new stadium in the convention center expansion was rejected by city leaders two years ago. But the Chargers revived the plan last week, just before the convention center expansion plan is considered by the California Coastal Commission. Here with more on the competing proposal is Mark Fabiani, general counsel for the San Diego Chargers. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Now, Mark, tell us how this stadium proposal now is different from the one back in 2011. Well, we've moved away from a football-only concept and instead are proposing to combine the convention center expansion and the stadium in one multi-use facility that would have a retractable fabric roof and that would be capable of hosting not just the medium-sized conventions we now get in San Diego, but the biggest events in the world, from the Super Bowl to the Final Four to the major conventions that we can't get now. I want to point out the video that the viewers are seeing right now. This was the original plan for That's 2011 correct. and it's changed now because you're, you're going to connect it and also have the, uh, the retractable. That's cover. correct. The idea is if we're going to build a facility, we need to build it for more than just NFL and college games. We need to build it so that we get the biggest events in the world, and this would give us a chance to do that. Why are the Chargers proposing this uh, kind of revised plan now? Because of the Coastal Commission hearing. The Coastal Commission meets in October, and we were told by our Coastal Commission experts that unless we presented an alternative, the Commission wouldn't necessarily consider one on its own. We know the Commission has concerns over putting a big box on the waterfront in downtown San Diego, which is what the city is now proposing to do to expand the convention center. We thought they needed to see an alternative. I know other people are going to come in from the community with other alternatives. Ours is just one of them. Yeah, and I, I want to get to that because uh, at a recent press conference, interim May, uh, San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria had this to say about the convention center expansion and the, uh, the Charger Stadium putting that together. Let's listen. It is a plan that is vital for us to retain and attract other conventions, most of whom have made it perfectly clear that they want to hold their events at a place with contiguous space. Few conventions are interested in holding their events in a venue that is spread out over several city blocks. So he's essentially saying the right. spread out over city blocks, it needs to be contiguous. What's your response to that? All you have to do is read the studies that the city commissioned by experts, which said that 90% of the conventions which bypass San Diego right now could be held in 250,000 square feet or less of convention space, which is exactly the amount that we would have in the combined stadium convention center facility. So they wouldn't have to be walking back and forth. They would be self-contained conventions. That's 90% of the business that we now miss out on. Plus, we'll have access to all kinds of business that we'll never get from the Super Bowl to all the other things. How much is this new plan? How much would it cost and who would pay for it? Well, it would probably cost about 1.2 billion which would be less than the 1.6 billion it would cost to build them separately and who would pay for it we would look to some of the same hotel taxes that are being used now except they wouldn't be imposed by the hoteliers the public would vote on them yes or no the Chargers and the NFL would put in around $400 million. We have a major development partner, Colony Capital, one of the biggest companies of this kind in the world that's interested in this. We can free up the Qualcomm land and the sports arena land and use that revenue. So there's a way to do this without touching the city's services or general funds. The only thing is I think Todd Gloria had just said that, that they couldn't transfer the funds that's for the expansion, that uh, $500 million, $520 couldn't be used for that. Are you guys counting on were you counting on that money? Well, no one should count on that money because mm -hmm. it's tied up in court right now that a lot of people think the tax is illegal. We would put that to a vote of the people. So the people would vote yes or no to use money from a hotel tax for the stadium. So there wouldn't be any court challenge. It would just be a pure vote of the people. So you'd like to put this to the vote uh, for San Diegans, but if the Chargers aren't having a great season, <laughs> is that going to influence well, that vote? <laughs> of course it will. This is a sport and people are passionate about it, but really in the end it's dollars and cents. Does it make sense for the public to have this kind of project or not? We think when they evaluate the money they could get from the Qualcomm site, the sports arena site, the events that they would attract to the facility, that we have a good chance of winning the vote. But it'll be a tough vote, but we wouldn't be sitting here if we didn't think we could win. Have you evaluated or been able to say how much revenue would, would be coming in? Are you able to be able to show people this is how much we think we can get? Oh, sure. Studies have been done on the Super Bowl, which is a 500 to $600 million infusion into the economy economy. Similar studies are done for the NCAA Final Four. So for each of these major events, which San Diego will never see, even if we expand the convention center as now planned, San Diego will never see any of these events. Each one of these events is, has been well studied and you can add up the amounts that they bring to the town. All right. Mark Fabiani, thank thanks you. so much.